Hey guys, a heckman to you. Welcome to another MX Simulator update video. And as you can see right here in front of you, there's an outline of the track that we're going to be doing. This is a uh, an overhead view of Redbud. And I know we've already done a, a uh, update on Redbud, but this is the next round of the Dead Meat uh, series, and it's also the last round. Um, so I've been doing a lot of practice on this and I think I've gotten a lot better and quite a bit has changed. Um, I have gotten a new setup. Uh, thank you to DMZ for providing me with that even though he got provided it by Billy and Billy got it from some popular guy or something. So <laughs> it's by no means our custom setup but if you're interested in it I can go ahead and just show you the basics. Um, so yeah I don't really think this has to do with anything. Uh, advanced ability, you can take a screenshot of that if you'd like, um, and then suspension and gearing. The only difference is my uh, counter shaft and rear sprocket, I kept mine at negative one and one. His was at like negative two and zero or something. And then also in here, or no, it's also in suspension. Some I changed just something. I think this was at like a hundred or whatever, but this is my current setup and what I'm using. So. Let's go ahead and get started here with the uh, update. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I am running our so Okay. <laughs> well, that didn't work out so well. I am running this cyan gear um, f that our team has. Oh! Actually, this is going to be a little bit longer of a review because I want to switch to a uh, different bike that was made by Moto's Life for me. And why am I requesting a restart? <laughs> We're not multiplayer. But, yeah, I got a, my own Kawasaki bike here made by Moto is Life. Um, like I said, it's going to be a little bit longer of a video. We're just going to do a few laps on this since we've already done this track. And uh, I'm just going to go into playback race and show you guys the bike a bit. But yeah, the setup I'm handling is so much better. Especially when I first got it, I just felt like I could jam into corners without a worry in the world. And it was awesome. Ah, I can usually triple that. Didn't quite carry enough speed though. And we're over jumping this. So we're going to have to jump a double this. Oh! That didn't work. <laughs> I usually just go straight to the outside, but that time I tried to jump into the line. It didn't work. <laughs> straight to this outside. Just purely for consistency. little off to the side that's not gonna end well <laughs> I didn't quite uh, spin it around enough and it just didn't work <laughs> so that's never fun oh boy okay hold her together now It's nothing too special over that, but not straight. <laughs> and with this suspension, I'm usually able to get through these rollers pretty consistently double, double, double. And what I really like is double, double, and when you nearly triple into the corner, and that's the fastest way that I've found out so far. Um, from that outside, that is. Man, I just can't whip this morning. It is, uh, it's not really in the morning, but I've only been awake for about 45 minutes. Because I was up extremely late last night at Moto Go Go stream. <laughs> there we go. So we'll probably just do one more lap here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hop into playback race. And uh, I know I uploaded a lap of this as a 226. Well, I've gotten a 219.7, but I do plan on getting better. Um, 
because I want to qualify for the dead meat series and do well. Um, so I'm going to try to get consistently under 220s and that's going to be tough, but I think I can do it. So uh, yeah, we're going to come out and try to get a, a solid top 10 finish at least and uh, try to get top 10 in the points. Because right now, uh, oh, I was 10th in the points before um, I had to quit Kegums because of uh, internet. So now I'm 11th in points, so I can still come back and get 10th. I'm about 15 points out of it, I do believe. So, yeah. I don't understand. This is my first time playing the game for today, so that, that might explain why I'm not doing the greatest. Oh boy, I saved it. <laughs> here and get on the gas. Uh. I was actually whipping pretty good yesterday. I'm not sure what happened today. Oh goodness. I'm gonna nose dive. Yep, that's called death right there, my friend. Still pretty terrible, but not too bad, I suppose. We're gonna see, let's see if we can whip over Loraco's Leap, and that didn't work at all, so we're gonna go ahead and go back here. And uh, we're gonna hit it with some steam. Hehehe. <laughs> But you've never overjumped Loraco's Leap like that before. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> it wasn't the best of whips, but that was cool. <laughs> I should have just hit it pinned in third gear, then I know and I probably wouldn't have overjumped it all that much. So, I uh, like it. I didn't really expect this lap time to be good anyway, so. Okay, that wasn't too shabby, I suppose. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and go to the playback race now. And as you can see here, we've got a pretty sick little bike here. So we're going to go ahead and zoom into about 80, I'd say is a good one. 80, there. But look at this, we got a 290 here. Look at the YouTube on the shroud there. And look at this, really well done by Moto's Life. I was really stoked about it when he said that he had it finished. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and play back race and go to the very end of the race here. Sorry if this is nauseating at all. Eh, I guess that's not too shabby. This isn't the end of the race, of course, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and get up on the top view here. Got a GoPro on a helmet there recording everything, of course. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's YouTube-only bike skin for me. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, little update here. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more videos. And um, yeah, I will. Or, let me see. I knew this didn't look right. Aha! So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Please like and sub for more. Peace out.